Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are checking out the Lenovo Smart Paper and... Remarkable. Wait, the... Lenovo makes something like this as well? Yes, I everyone does. Everybody knows Remarkable. Did you know Huawei as well is making one? Do they? Yeah. I'm you a... see ads of this everywhere. Instagram, <laughs> YouTube, website, wherever you open it. It is all well. over. Remarkable, yep. um, thanks to advertising, has made itself the standard for... Note what are we calling it? Note-taking? Note-taking smart devices, paper, whatever, yeah. 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 Um, I've been checking this out for about a week. Yep. You've had this for longer than that. Absolutely, about a month or so. Yeah, so let's kind of sure. jump into both. Um, I obviously have notes. <laughs> um, so as far as Remarkable goes, this is the only thing they make. Correct. Hyper-specialized. Um, tell me a bit about... Absolutely. So beautiful design. Let me just take it out of the case so we can kind of show how thin and light it is. Right. It's just this is a beautifully got corner edges. I mean, super thin. Look right. at how thin that is. That's a USB port up so there. So basically it's the width of the USB port. Pretty much the port. USB port. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah. you just fit that in in your set and feels really nice in your hand. Feels very premium. It's got a nice finish to it. Yeah. Back, front, everywhere. I, I love it. I think there's a little bit of a bezel down there. Right. Which we'll get to in a little while. But yeah. I like it. I think it feels a very premium product. It does. It yeah. really does. Uh, in my little experience with it, it does. Um, this was the Lenovo Smart Paper. Lenovo sent this to us uh, to check out. This is the product without um, its case. Mm -hmm. It also feels very nice. It's all metal everywhere. Um, it's got that iPhone-esque edge flat feel. Sides. Yeah. Flat sides completely. Yep. But um kind of moving into if we compare both the designs this is a slightly more horizontal feeling device feels like it whereas yours is more vertical because chin. the bigger chin is yep. there whereas this is on the side mm -hmm. so i really liked um that about it uh sorry i really like that about the remarkable mm -hmm. um i feel like if i'm taking notes i have vertical orientation vertical, exactly. in mind i think absolutely. so absolutely uh but apart from that the Placement of the pencil yep. is something that I prefer way more on this. Gotcha. It has a dedicated, I don't know what, what you call it, a notch yeah. Yeah, uh, in there and the pencil goes and magnetic firmly in there. and magnetic. Um, so this one just gets it stuck over here? On the side. No, absolutely not. The iPad had something like this, yeah. if you remember, and I've lost that pencil many, many, many Fair. times. Fair. Thankfully, the magnet is quite strong on this. Okay. So far, I haven't managed to drop it. Okay. But again, I prefer that as well. But I even on the case, it's still outside. It is. Right. It so is. that's something I really liked about this, where if I pop this into the case, nice. the case has a slot for it. So it's secure inside. I'm no. never, ever worried about it. No, unfortunately, with this one, it is going to be... Yeah. Right. See? So you, it's always so going to be outside. Always Fair. Outside. So on a security level, I prefer this that is nicer. for sure. That is nice. Um, as far as in the box is concerned, now mm -hmm. I got all this inside the box. Okay. The case, the pencil, and the tablet itself. Gotcha. Okay. So this was sent to us by Remarkable themselves. Okay. So we got the full package as well. But if you were to buy one, you would literally just get this. Right. Everything else is extra. Okay. You want to buy a pen, you have to pay for that. You want to buy a cover, you have to pay okay. for that. You want a cover with that has a keyboard on it, you have to pay a <laughs> lot more than that. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. So we'll come back to the pricing in a sure. little while. Um, on a separate note, if you are liking our content and if you have any questions about these two devices, do let us know in the comments. We have these devices with us. We'd love to get answer anything you want to know about it. But carrying forward... So I want to answer a question real quick. A lot of people it. sort of are very used to the A4 format of writing. Right. right. So how do these devices compare? Now, I've got a super scientific method to sort of show how we do that. <laughs> this is an A4 paper. <laughs> Fold it like that, fold it like that. That's the screen size for both the Remarkable yeah. and Fair. the Lenovo. Fair. Absolutely, we just... On, on, a, on a display level, I think that's a good size. Yeah. Um, I, I didn't at any point think, oh, this is too big or too small. No, not at all. Um, not like, at for all. example, sometimes the iPad Pro feels too large. Sure. And the iPad Mini feels too small. Sure. Where I think this just fits that nice category of, um, you know, just portability notebook style kind of thing. Absolutely. And look, you can scroll up as you keep writing yep. if you want more space on it. So you're never really out of space, you know, if you want a longer version of the paper on there. Fair. That works. Coming to the main thing, mm -hmm. writing. Mm -hmm. Now, I have enjoyed writing on this. I think it has very good feel. Um, but that being said, I feel like the Remarkable, because this is all it makes, 
yeah. is a more polished Completely agree feel, with you on that. Right? Completely agree with you. That's so the paper I feel okay, so obviously when you're writing on an iPad, right. it's super smooth and it's very difficult to write anything right. on it. Both of these devices have a somewhat textured surface, which right. makes it easier to write on, yep, yep. I guess. And between the two, mm -hmm. I preferred the remarkable writing on that. Uh, not only did it have a little bit more resistance, I right. would say, when you're right. writing, uh, it's faster as well. You can put it this way that in the kind of fight for paper-like feel, yep. Remarkable is it's definitely better. winning. Now, that doesn't mean that Lenovo is bad in any shape or form. It does feel like paper, but a bit smoother. Right? Exactly. So it's a bit more iPad-ish where, you know, you feel a little bit more smoother from that angle. Yeah. So this one is also quite fast. I mean, as soon as you're writing, it's literally on the screen there. That, I feel, has got a slight lag to it. So I, I, I know exactly what you're saying, and this is very, very difficult to show you on camera. It's something that's almost imperceptible, but it's, it's there. Again, not saying that it, Lenovo is bad. It's just that... Remarkable just has mastered it. Yep. Like even here in your strokes mm -hmm. across, it's noticed see. all of them. Yep. Uh, whereas this one, again, I'm, if I move to the pencil side of things, it is still there, but it's not as, yeah. it didn't detect the, uh, the strokes as much as Absolutely. this one so did. If I go from light to heavy, you can kind of see how it sort of follows. Yeah, this one is doing the same thing, but um, you can see that the differentiation happens much slower. Almost as if this has more pressure levels. Almost yeah. as if it can detect more pressure levels on there. Yep, but definitely. yeah, I think from a writing perspective, I definitely prefer Remarkable. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it wasn't, I didn't, I hadn't thought about these small things until you made me write mm -hmm. on the Remarkable. Until that moment, I was very happy with this and I still am. I mean, yeah. I've been using it very happily, sure. making a whole bunch of notes on it, but I just think that there's a polishedness to the remarkable, Agreed. which is Absolutely. which is definitely um, something to keep in mind. So the Lenovo is based on Android. Yes, so right? it's an it's an e-ink display with the Android operating system, um, which doesn't really bring anything major to it. So mm -hmm. if we go down, for example, to the oh, okay, of course. So if we go down, this is basically the whole menu, right? So I've got the notebook section here. I can open up a library of e-books here. Yep. Um, this is the apps menu where you've got email, file manager, Firefox. Ooh, browsing <laughs> on an e-ink display. So and uh, e-book uh, reader as well. Yep. And you've yep. got the main My Device where you can create your folders and stuff like that. And last but not least, Google. you've got Google Drive. Gotcha. Um, so this is based on, I'm assuming, Remarkable's own OS, okay. which is updated quite frequently. Okay. Look at that, we just have an update <laughs> while shooting this thing. We literally just issued an update, quick tab update. Uh, they update it quite frequently. Okay. Uh, once every couple of weeks, I generally find That's an update nice. on that. That's very nice. That's really good. That's really nice. And sizable updates as well. Okay. The UI has changed slightly between the month that I've used this. Okay. It's got Google Drive integration, it's got ebooks, PDF support, all of nice. that. So all of that works well. The one thing I like about this very much is that they've got their own dedicated app for your smartphone and your PC or Mac. Okay. So you can start notes over there, but continue them on your laptop or your phone. But or you can start a note. Typing them. Typing them, obviously. Fair. Yes. Okay. You're typing them on your phone or your screen, and then it syncs completely with this device. Okay, that's nice. I like that. I think that's a good functionality. That is definitely cool to have. Um, that that sort of syncing here is only on the Google Drive. Um, I don't think that's a problem, but yes, the editability factor is yeah. still not there unless you were to have a separate app um, on the whole thing. But it, it's possible, but sure. not as smooth as uh, on Again, the Again, more polished. Yeah, definitely more polished. Um, something I wanted to check was, let's both open up a new note. Okay. All right. Um, and let's write the same statement, but sure. as, like, as fast. Don't be neat about it. This is smart paper. Okay. Right? This is smart paper uh, let's see if it can convert it to text yeah and how good that is do that and convert notes to text this is smart paper this is, this is smart paper <laughs> yeah but my writing needs a lot to be desired <laughs> i don't think i can blame remarkable on this i don't think anyone can read that <laughs> but fair it's nice to have convert yeah. to text yeah. um there are a lot of times we go for meetings and stuff where i would like to have that in note yeah. form to pop it onto an email for minutes or whatever Absolutely, so i think yes. that that um, is definitely nice to have uh and then you've got some um templates as well yes that when yes. you're creating new notebooks 
Templates, layers, all that I think is very similar on both. Yep. Um, we've got, as yep. you can see, very similar, but mm -hmm. even if you just look at both screens over here. It looks more polished. Yeah, much more nice. polished. Um, it's, it's all the same templates. We've got all the Absolutely. same grid templates. All that um, creative, you've got grids, you've yeah, got lights, same. The, you've got scheduling, Absolutely. all that stuff is there. Um, I've got some sports based ones, <laughs> apparently. Um, but yeah, it's all there. Uh, definitely, yours looks way more polished, um, but it's there. It's definitely yep. there. Um, all right. Uh, as far as battery life goes, mm -hmm. what kind of battery life have you seen? So, Remarkable says 14 days. Okay. I honestly haven't gone at a stretch for 14 days right. using it. Right. Uh, you know, you use it when you need it, kind of stuff. Fair. And uh, in the month that I've had, I've had to charge it one time. Fair. So, okay. I think it's a pretty self so accurate. For me, uh, it's they claim the same battery life. I did. Uh, I opened this about 10 days ago mm -hmm. and I just charged it today. Okay. So I guess it's around the same. Definitely. Yeah, I've been opening yeah. it up every day for a little while here and there. Mm -hmm. um, I did, I don't know about you, but like for me, I've switched off the Wi Fi on this. Okay. Because like for my Kindle, I keep that off so that it, that's the, because that's the main, on a, on a device like this, that sucks right. way too much power. Okay. So I've switched that off. So when it goes into standby mode, doesn't it automatically switch off, which is what I'm assuming this does because I've never had to switch I, it, the Wi-Fi off. For me, it was like a, seeing an e-ink display. I'm like, okay, okay. switch off Wi-Fi. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's just a thing in my head. But fair, um, as far as uh, the keyboard goes, mm -hmm. On display, how is yours? Very nice. Yeah. So let's go ahead and try to pull that up as well. Uh, so there we go. This is a smart display. Let's go ahead and type this again. This is a smart display. So the A in the middle got... Yeah, up. mine got destroyed <laughs> because... <laughs> Mine, mine was way slower, but let me try that again. Yeah, this is reasonably fast. This and is a smart. Yeah, no, definitely not. Yeah, so. Cool. And then you obviously have the uh, built-in keyboard. Right. The folio, On the folio, right. We yeah. don't have that. That, I think, is just brilliant. Yeah, and the feel it, of the keyboard is amazing. It sounds well. great. Yeah, it feels great as well. Nice. That definitely really nice. is an added perk. It comes at a cost. Yes, it does. But coming to so that, let's do that. Let's yeah, do that. coming to the costs. So I'll tell you mine. Yep. Because well, mine is a shorter list. <laughs> sure, of course. Real quick, the starting price of this yes. is less. But having said that, you can easily go a lot more on this yeah. versus that. So, so let's discuss that. Okay. Now. So mine is flat out mm -hmm. one thousand seven hundred ninety nine dirhams okay. for the device. All right. The pen Tablets, right? and the case gotcha all right the only thing additional you might pay for which i really don't think anyone needs to is google drive mm -hmm. but then everyone has a gmail That's and true. everyone gets 15 gb free so i That's don't true. see you ever paying anything after that gotcha okay yours on the other hand starts at 11.99 correct so it's cheaper to get in but that's just the tablet just, just the tablet one. nothing that's, else nothing else then we have the pencil so if you want to get the pencil how much is that so it's 2.99 for the basic pencil okay which does not have this erasing capabilities i should have shown this this is quite nice this is actually a really nice feature of that let me just go ahead into any note and you literally turn the pencil upside down and you can delete stuff <laughs> okay it, which is awesome that is cool which because is awesome. one of the things i struggle with this pencil is because I'm so used to an iPad, I keep going tap tap gotcha. and nothing happens and then I have to go and switch to the eraser and all that. Right. So that's very cool to have. That is a nice picture. But what's the difference you're paying? But you pay four, 449 for this? 499. 499 dirhams for the one with the eraser. <laughs> so you're paying so you want to... <laughs> 200 dirhams for an eraser. Just for an eraser. It's a very expensive eraser. <laughs> yep, it, is. it sure is. <laughs> okay, then we go to the cases. Correct. The cases are how so much? So 299 is for the basic case okay. without anything. But if you want a keyboard case, that starts at 799. Oh, so, yeah, those okay. goes quite a bit. Okay. There are some cases in the middle, which are sort of premium cases without the keyboard, right. which are at 499. But so yeah, it adds at up. its maximum, mm -hmm. you're spending 1200 plus 500 plus 800. So okay. that's 2500. That's at the max. Yep. Right? At yep. its max. Yep. And then you still have a subscription. That's correct. So it's got a subscription service, which is about 110 dirhams for the full year. Right. Uh, which syncs between your phone, your laptop, your Remarkable, okay. all of that kind of stuff. Fair. So I guess that's the price for the polishedness, I guess. Yeah. You yeah, can say sure. so because for if sure. you were to take everything at its base level, if I just got the thing, it was 1200. If I got just the basic pencil, that's 300. Yeah. 1500 plus um, just the basic folio for it. 
that's um, that's another 300 so 1800 which is the same Correct. price as so this. I wouldn't just pay 1200 for this because otherwise it's just a glorified yeah. Kindle right yeah, at the end nothing. of the day why right. would you do that so right. you definitely want to have the pencil at least right and then the casing on it so yeah even though the starting price of the remarkable is lower right it's just that you end up paying a lot more if you get all of the things that are you know pretty much a necessity for it fair so what I would say is if you're super particular about your writing experience remarkable mm -hmm. would be the way to go if you want a one-stop shop where you just buy it and it's done, Lenovo Maybe the would Lenovo be the way to the go. Choice yeah, absolutely. Fair enough. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. We'd and if love you guys to know. Have used any of these devices? Definitely, yeah. we'd love to know if you guys are using them right now. Let us know your experience. If you have any further questions, also let us know. But apart from that, thank you very much for watching. My name is Danish. This Abbas. is Abbas, yep. and we'll see you at the next one.